reporting. Uh, there's a man in the woman's house, and he's beating her and her kids. Fox 2 obtained the 911 call, which led Chesterfield police to this quiet condo subdivision on September 23rd. The day investigators say Arthur Williamson killed WWJ news anchor Jim Matthews, stabbed his girlfriend Nicole Gurton, and terrorized her kids. Listen to some of the 911 calls back and forth between the dispatcher, Gurton, and a neighbor. He tried to kill himself. He's in our basement right now. Passed hey, out. Where, where are you? Um, I broke out. Look at the smoke and jumped in the basement. He had a smoke and he was a friend of mine. What? Can you ask her what his name is? Hey, what? What's his name? Oh, his name is uh, Arthur. Through a Freedom of Information Act request, Fox 2 received more than 100 pages of police records, which some details tragically read like a true crime novel involving drugs, an unsubtle relationship, endangered children, and the murder of a well-known radio anchor. When Fox 2's Randy Wimley shared the details with a neighbor, That's crazy. he was still in disbelief weeks later. You hear about stuff like that happening all around, but you never think it's going to happen right across the street from you. Police paperwork reveals Arthur Williamson called Nicole Gurton to visit in the early morning hours on September 23rd, while Gurton's boyfriend, Jim Matthews, was at work. Gurton says she and Williamson were just friends who had only talked about dating. Later, when Gurton tells Williamson her boyfriend will be home soon, she says he lost it. One police account says Williamson told Gurton he, quote, threw his life away for nothing and, quote, he planned all of this ahead of time, but he didn't know why. Once Matthews returned home, Gurdon says she heard Williamson attack and eventually kill him with a knife and hammer. Police say Williamson stabbed, taped, and bound Gurdon and hurt her son. Gurdon later escaped with her daughter while Williamson passed out of a suspected overdose. Police rescued her son. When Williamson came into the hospital, paperwork outlines a chilling conversation where a detective asked the suspect if he heard anyone. Williamson took two breaths, looked away, and said, I think I need an attorney. The evidence collected in Matthew's home includes cocaine, crack cocaine, and a bloody hammer discovered under a bedroom mattress. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.